Hi guys, sorry I hadn't got these out earlier in the week um, but I've been suffering from a bit of a cold and I don't think you would have been able to understand me I had a really sore throat and uh, would have had trouble talking on the video so sorry for these coming out a bit later than I was hoping for this first video I've got for you is um, a quick review or an overview of the Cold Steel Spearpoint Machete it's 18 inches long it's 3 mil thick steel, 1055 steel, as uh, all of Cold Steel's machetes are. It is lovely. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a little while. The reason I wanted this one was I particularly like the blade shape. I really wanted something that looked so much like um, a Gladius. And that's what it feels like when you have hold of it. It's obviously a lot lighter than a, a real Gladius would be only having the, the three mil thick steel but that's still ample it's still a very very stiff blade although this is it's spring temper so it's, it's flexible but it doesn't really flex when you're using it it's a tough piece of steel the handle is the um, polypropylene handle again this is if you've seen any of my other videos I talk about the difference between um, some of the, the handles when you have hold of the, the handle from the, the cookery, for example, that feels a lot more like hard plastic, as does the Latin machete as well. It has quite a different feel. It looks identical, but this is a lot more grippy, a lot more rubberized than the, the plastic feel of this one. I, as I said in the other video, I don't know if that's down to they changed the um, location of the manufacturer or it's just a different compound or it's done for a, a real reason but this feels a lot better it's very very grippy and I like these handles a lot um, as you can see I've started sharpening up the, the blade I've still got a little bit longer to go as you can see still got a little bit of black just showing through there I like 1055 still because it is very easy to sharpen you can get very very sharp edge on it. It does blunt but you can sharpen it again very quickly so um, as far as I'm concerned that's fine and you can get an amazingly sharp edge on it. I do like 1055 still a lot. Um, for a machete it's I think one of the best steels you could use. Very enjoyable machete to use. It's fairly fairly heavy um, as far as a, a machete goes and the balance point is fairly much in the middle of the just just short of the middle of the blade um, it's not weighted quite as much towards the end of the tip as you get on say the, the Latin machete so it does feel a little bit quicker in some ways but the added weight of having the 3 mil steel as opposed to the, the 2 mil as you get on the Latin machete does make it that little bit slower to use if you're you wanting to, to whip it around very quickly. Um, superb machete, great for using in the garden, any kind of task that you'd want a machete for, but having that extra thickness on the blade, that 3 mil, does mean that you've really got quite a good chopping potential with this. As on Nothing Fancy's video where he shows you his 12-inch um, bowie and how well that did with battening. This again, same thickness of steel, it's the three mil thick, that really does give you a good solid blade. With uh, this one, you've obviously got the potential to use this in a defensive role. If you're in a situation where such um, a proposition would be legal, um, in the UK, obviously, if you were to use a machete on somebody unless they came at you armed with a gun you'd be pretty much done there would be no excuse for using a machete on somebody unless they were say trying to shoot you and that would be about it um, but in the states or for example if you're using this in a country where machetes are, are more common common south africa sorry south america or or africa then as a defensive weapon this is fantastic having that extra blade 
on the reverse there enabling you to um, cut both ways really is great and it gives a fantastic point great for penetrating a superb short sword in effect very very effective short sword um, really wanted this and very pleased with it if you want to get a machete I'd certainly say the cold steel ones are the, the way to go they cut amazingly well um, I've compared this really the only the only other one really I can say I've compared with other than other cold steel machetes are things like particularly cheap machetes like this which are very flexible and although they'll clear light vegetation they don't have enough strength to be able to deal with some of the things that this can deal with and this will cut through branches with these quite thick branches and you can batten with it so I would go with a cold steel machete every time. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that and I should have um, some more reviews very very shortly.